Hi everybody and thanks for coming back to my channel. This is Angela from Angela and Misa Liet, and I've got another video. These are two miscellaneous boxes, I call them mystery boxes, that were going through their 1890s toys from my husband's childhood. So he's here with me today to unbox these and explain a little bit better than I could exactly what we're pulling out of these boxes. And he's all nostalgic and he's just having so much fun. You probably hear some vroom vroom noises. That's how happy it is to see this stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into it. He is here. He's tall, so I have to angle it up. Whoops. There we go. Let's see the boxes we're looking at. <laughs> okay. I'll just edit that out. Okay, here, I'll scoot over so you can get in here. Okay. <coughs> All right, so we've got two boxes. So go ahead and like pick one and pull something out. Tell us what um, you're looking Let's at. start with that one there. I don't think I recognize this stuff right offhand. It looks like it might be kind of like collectibles from. So we used to go on a road trip, cross country road trips with my uh, with my uh, family, and we would get little keepsakes at things like here's all these little rocks, you know, all the polished rocks that you find and wherever all the little souvenir shops okay. there's a plastic uh, there's a plastic lizard in there plush rocks and plastic lizard <laughs> here's what sea cell from the Polished Oregon seashell the yep. Oregon coast they paid three dollars and fifty cents whatever it was <laughs> at the time uh -huh, medieval times uh, we went to that before they closed. <laughs> Medieval Times is in California, Buena Park. It is no longer. They took it out, which is really sad. But you would go there and you would get a meal and you'd watch like jousting and other things like that. It was so fun. It was like a dinner entertainment thing in Buena Park. Um, Not very fun. farm map. Right. <laughs> Bunch of little baggy with little brochures in it, I think is what this is. For little... Uh, yeah. And, oh, and uh, huh, all the, like, collector bags. All the, like, look through the Disneyland bag. Those probably, actually things, people whatever. do collect those. Okay, well, there so, you go. No, let's see. No, unfold that. You got to show us. It's a vintage oh, okay. Disney bag. There's also there's a, a shell with, like, there's a vintage. Pretty. Look at that. Medieval Times napkin. Nice. <laughs> I don't know who decided to keep this. But... No, those are awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. I want that. That is so All right, cool. So looks like a Disneyland bag. That is cool. Vintage Disneyland bag, guys. Let's see if we can guess what year it's from. Oh my gosh, I remember get going one of the years that it had that. Wow, goodness. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Look at this, you guys. Vintage Disney bag. Mickey Mouse. I remember that bag, too. I think <laughs> cool. I Cool. That is I awesome. I do not. <laughs> I never went, I mean, I didn't go to Disneyland with them, they, you know, this was, but. We went with our families separately before we knew each other. <laughs> yeah. We met when we were 16, though. We went to high school together. So, we didn't have a whole lot of life before it, but we did live a little without me. Who knew, right? <laughs> okay, while well, he's holding that up, I'll pull out some. Sheep wool. Okay, this is the most interesting thing. <laughs> I love your family, but I'm wondering what in the heck right now. Kim, if you're watching this, what is this? <laughs> it's it's in a Spice Island Incident Mince Onions. And it says sheep wool. We must have like, did you guys shear sheep or something? I, no, I, there was a couple after after I met you. There was a couple of um, with the road trips that I did not go on. So um, pennies from trip. So there might there might be some stuff that is from Ooh, these are pressed pennies, y'all. Oh cool. Where are these from? From different locations. Oh my god. Yeah, there used to be pretty much every uh Colossal Cave. At every and I, I don't know. Maybe there's still are. I don't know. It's been a while. But Colossal but Cave. At every like at every uh tourist place you could put a penny in and This one's from Utah. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to Let's see. There we go. There's like one, two, they're different that might places. Have been upside down. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like ten of them in here. That's super cool. Nice. And an old uh an old Kodak. Do you remember? Okay, nothing gets more retro than this. The it's Kodak cool. when you used to have to take the rolls of film for camera when you actually had cameras and not phones. Anybody remember those? 
Like, you, this is awesome. This is total nostalgia. Like, this was a, I thought it was toys, so I'll have to change the title of this to uh, 80s, 90s memories or something. Like, I don't know. Like. This is a drawing or something. This has my brother's name on it. This is like some art that he did. That's not, this belong with this stuff. What is this? There's um, a couple pocket knives and stuff in there. This is hilarious. So, Jared, you must have played soccer. Yep. Yeah. Holy Jared, when coach said not firm in enough, working first half, no score, practice in backyard, blocked, Kim, dad, Block. kicks for a week, Jared Gold. Blocking dad. Life. This kicks is a me. soccer ball that they cut in half. That's interesting. <laughs> <With> a... <laughs> I've never seen that before. Like... It's a story my dad likes to tell about when, when uh, I was in soccer. I was, I don't know. Okay. Seven or eight, probably somewhere between seven and eleven. And the uh, I'm afraid to open that. You the the uh, coach, <laughs> my my dad had asked why I never got to be goalie, and this was before now. In in our son's thing, it doesn't matter. It's just it's just a rotating thing. Everybody gets to be a goalie. Everybody gets to do whatever. And uh, um, but I never got to. My dad asked why I never got to be goalie, and then he uh, he said, well, he's not firm enough, whatever, and couldn't couldn't do it or whatever so he practiced with me in the backyard i got good i don't really remember he remembers that i got good at it and then he uh they put me in as goalie and uh went from getting a bunch of you know getting scored on a bunch to i guess i blocked all the balls when i was in but <laughs> anyway that's blocked, what that is blocked all the balls okay these are some of my husband's pencils that have his name his first and last name i won't show them but these are his old pencils from school. So you've got some new pencils now, and you'll know if Nathan takes them because I'll have your name. Oh, this is Bonneville Salt Flats. Salt. Oh, we went to Bonneville. Well, we went to Bonneville. No, that's a different. That's completely different. Okay. <laughs> this is Bonneville Salt Flats from uh, Utah. Salt? Yep, it's salt from the Bonneville Salt Flats. Cool. Okay. This is this is shaping up to be a different kind of video, but just as fun. Um. <laughs> I don't know. These are like this stuff is leather lace with like some necklaces and stuff. Well, these are your memories. Don't you want to keep some of this? Sure, but you said that the the people collect the like. Well, yeah, they do. But bags and I mean, stuff. I don't collect them, so I don't need it. <laughs> some of the stuff they maybe like keep little necklaces from different places with like rocks <laughs> on it. And here, oh, more penny. Uh -huh. Wait, no, right. no, these are pogs. Nice. We'll have to show. Uh, I was just showing my son some of these the other day. Oh, oh there was also some. Those were really ah, There's also some coins in, coins in here. Coins. Coins and pogs. Looks like these are all slammers. Yeah, slammers are the big, thicker ones that you would. Plastic or metal slammers. Right. Yeah, this is. Throw it. Need some throw down? Get a slammer. <laughs> okay, eighty nine lingo. Can you show me slammers? Oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> what? Are, what are they of? Uh. I don't think there's any particular. See, this one is. I can't quite read that. <laughs> oh, I think it says Slammer. In how? Slammer something. It doesn't say Slammer. Ghostbusters Slammer? <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, this one is a dinosaur. Oh, well, not dinosaurs. They're Dimetrodons. Dinosaur Slammer. There you go. Non dinosaurs, Demetrodons. Here, I'll help take turns. <laughs> to make them go sure. faster. Okay, so. Eight, red eight ball. Just like a purple one with a skull on it. Some bear, bear paw prints, I think. Okay. Rat looking guy. This one. I don't know what this is. A fish or a snake? This one's metal. The other ones are plastic, but this one's metal. Oh, yeah, it's a snake. There we go. You can see that. And then here's two. These are plastic ones. But yeah, those are slammers, guys. Okay. And there were some coins in there, too. I'm not sure what these coins are, but they're not normal. Oh, no. Game tokens. <laughs> From so, what? I don't know. But must have, must have left the uh, the arcade, whichever we, arcade we were at. And... Uh, I don't know if it's focusing on that or not. I can't see. Sorry. Um, and <laughs> found them in our pockets or something. Probably like, Here's oh, we forgot to use these. The 
All right, here's some. Ooh, you got key change. Now, they, oh, there's some from Disneyland. So those actually might be collector ones if you don't want them. This is a zoo, the San Diego Zoo. Oh, it, it's a, a hologram. It's like a little um, meerkat. Oh, that's so cute. Looks like he's turning his head. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really cool. Here's another sea lion caves, Oregon Coast. There we go. Hey, are you gonna show? There is. This is the Redwoods Highway in California. It's on like a tree-looking thing. Another Oregon Coast one. What's on that one? It's a shoreline. Oh. Let me keep you going. Don't need as much. Okay. This is a Portland, Oregon. Uh, uh, Portland, Oregon coin one. Riddler's Revenge. It was a, uh, it's a, uh, a roller coaster in one of the like Six Flags or whatever. Okay. Things I don't remember exactly. Now it's very from California. It's got a little coin and it flips, it reverses, and it spins in the middle. That's cool. I love Knott's Berry Farm. We've, took of, we've taken our son to Knott's Berry Farm. Speaking of Six Flags, there's Six Flags, California. Nice. Some retro stuff. Um, Universal Studios. <gasps> hold that one love up. that one. I love Universal Studios. We're taking our son there. There we go. And Disneyland Goofy. Yeah, that's a retro one. There's Goofy. Uh, vintage. <laughs> that thing's art. His dad also, so his dad and my dad worked at Boeing. Not together at different places doing different things, but they both worked at Boeing. Um, so this is a Boeing uh, 767-300 coin. That's really cool. This is a Wade Boggs coin. And this is just Elizabeth, Elizabeth. This is a Canadian coin. And then there's a little pin. I think it says Wisconsin on it. So that's fun. All right, here we go. So yeah, there's a bunch of like more personal like art project stuff or whatever in there, so we don't want to bother with that. But you can at least show the comics. Yeah, here's Robin, the Joker's Wild, uh, issue number two. This is Wolverine. Let's see what issue it is. Volume, oh, volume one. one. It's, uh, okay. DC Armageddon 2001 issue two. This is 1984 comics book Who's Who Superheroes. It's like one of the, um, I think it's one of those books that you could, go price guides that you could like go on from 1994. Wolverine, Marvel, X-Men, Wolverine, number 108. With, yeah, I don't know who that guy is. Aside from Wolverine on the bottom, of course. This is from January 1997, number 62 in X-Men, X-Force. Superman number 42 from 1995, I think it says. This is Aquaman number one from DC. Year one Aquaman number one. And Generation 13. Oh, Gen 13. Yeah, I was in the Gen 15. 13 comics for a while. 